All right, guys, welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Can't believe I'm actually saying that. I'm really happy to be playing this game. The first video absolutely did amazing. Thank you guys so much for all the likes and stuff you dropped on it. If you want the rest of this game, quickly just destroy it. And, uh, yeah, let's do this, guys. All right, guys, going to go ahead and continue right where we left off last time. So a few things I've learned since, uh, I guess, from part one to this part. I have learned a lot about just different things. So as far as... Let's see, progress. I think this is it. All right, in Grand Theft Auto V, you know, when you beat the game, you can't replay any of the missions, really. This game, you can replay every single mission. And they have toggling checklists that you can go down to. So, like, if I completed the first mission without taking any damage during the shootout, I would have got a gold. So you can get bronze, silver, gold on these. How cool is that, though? Replay any mission you want. <laughs> that's that's ridiculous. Uh, total completion. So we're only like a few percentage in there. As far as your player goes, you can check on your horse. You have to keep your horse clean and everything. So I'll have to find out a way to actually like give it a bath and everything. Uh, you can check on your character. The health, stamina, dead eye, usage, all that kind of stuff. Pretty much just... I don't know. I was really shocked when I saw that. As far as... Let me show you this one other thing. I think it's under... I'm just kind of going down the list. Progress, yeah. Total completion? Yeah. So you got, like, it doesn't show you the missions and everything, but ga there's gang hideouts and stuff. I don't know. There's just a lot of stuff to this game I can't wait to share with you guys, so. All right, enough of that. I'm going to go ahead and continue with the story. It's supposed to go over here. I think I can, if I wanted to sleep, I think I'd go to that other icon. There's my horse. There's really nothing else to do in this area. I'm eager to play poker in this game, though. All right, here we Freezing go. To death so we can eat each other? I hope not. Still, I doubt any lawmen will be foolish enough to follow us. We're up. okay, exactly. We have a few cans of food and a rabbit. For what? 10, 12 people? When I was in the Navy. I, I do not wish to hear about what you got up to in the Navy, Mr. Pearson. We were stranded at sea for 50 days. And you unfortunately survived. When we ran away from Blackwater, I wasn't able to get supplies in. Well, when government agents are hunting you down, sometimes shopping trips need to be cut short. We'll survive. We always have. And if needs be, we can eat you. You're the fattest. I sent Lenny and Bill hunting, and they found nothing. Well, Lenny's more into book learning than hunting. Bill's a fool. Unless those mountains are full of game that want to read, ain't no wonder they found enough of this. We'll go find something. Come on, Arthur. Wait a second. Hold on. Uh, here. You're gonna need something to eat out there. Assorted salted offal. Starving will be preferable. Come on, let's go. You can't go hunting. Look at your hand. I can't stay here listening to you two. Look, if this game in those hills, I'll find it. And you can kill it. You need to rest, Charles. You think this is rest? Come along. <coughs> Here, you take this. I can't use it and you'll have to. Oh, you're joking. Use a gun and we'll scare off every animal for miles around. You're never too old to learn, I imagine. Come nice. On. All right, here we go. Way. We got a lot of stuff from that, too. Sorted oils. What is that all about? All right, here we go. So I played the first part of whatever, and I was waiting for the feedback. And man, you guys killed it, so I'm thank okay. you so much. Apart from this hand, stupid mistake. Still bad? It'll be fine in a day or two. I just can't pull a bow right now. I uh, sure hope I can. Never really got the hang of it. You'll be fine. So, you reckon we're gonna find something to kill that ain't no Driscoll? Huh. There's meat up here for sure. Pearson doesn't know what he's talking about. Now the weather's eased off a bit, they'll be needing to feed. We'll head up this way, find some higher ground. I may do some videos in the future where I show, like, first person, but for now, I just want to play it like the traditional days, way of third right. person. Uh, right north from Blackwater, getting stuck in the storm, 
Going out for John? That thing with the O'Driscolls? You've had a lot put on you. I wish I could have done more. I didn't mean it like that. Just a lot to think back on. I still don't really know what happened on that boat. Me neither. <laughs> well, Javier told me a bit, but it sure weren't good. I love how it does that. It just went to like a cinematic of us just traveling the area, but it's like it's like real time too. The game plays like a dream, There's some honestly. Of grass here. This is good. Come on, <laughs> let's try this way. Keep your eyes peeled for movement. Keep my eyes wide open. Hmm. I do feel bad for the horses, the man. Died down too. That's good. No wind at all is bad, but if it's too strong, they won't move. Now, shh. Stay quiet. I wonder if this is the first, uh, next-gen game that was like a two-disc game. I don't know what the two discs are, because I got this digitally, so, I don't know. <laughs> it's the way to hey, go, I guess. Stop here a second. I see something. Uh, let me check my horse really quick. Hold on. I'm gonna Has deer been here? pet the horse a little bit, you know. Recently. You can study the How horse. Can you do? Absolutely not. Let's walk it from here. You're gonna need the bow. Don't leave it on your horse. Should I... I guess I should probably put on... Wait, did I just put on a bow? Oh man, that's sick. Hold on, I'm curious. And slowly. No. Oh, you can change the sides. I forgot about that. That'll make too much noise. Try to stay low. You see the Max? I uh, think so. Maybe not. Focus. Oh, it's like a scan type thing. Nice. Unknown animal. Oh man. Once you get your eye in, you'll be able to track nearly as well. The bar keeps going. I'm gonna follow it around there, so I think it goes oh I see it go across there too. Is he still crouched behind me? Oh, he is. <laughs> this reminds me of The Last of Us. Uh, when Ellie was like... I don't know, it's like towards the end of the game. She's like in snow hunting rabbits or whatever. With the bow and arrow. I mean, can I just keep this open completely? Is this like going... From here all the way there... I guess just... Hold on, let me focus on this track right here. Ooh, we got some footprints. Or some, uh... I don't know what this is gonna be. Wait, look. There they are. Quick, get that bow out, Arthur. Try Good shot. Nice, so let's get now it. Let's try for another. We're essentially hunting deer. How easy is this? Especially with the auto aim the game gives you, you know? Attract animal team by selecting call while aiming. Okay. I see a way over there. I think I'm too far away for that to actually...
See if I can get my arrow back. It looks like it's blinking, so maybe you can. Nice. Oh wait, here we go. How convenient. Yeah. Well done. I think that's all we can carry. Okay, you pick up one, I'll get the other. You sure I guess your we're hands good. Okay. Uh, it'll be fine once I get it on my shoulder. Okay. I'll go grab the other one. Oh, nice. Yo, we got a long way to go. Please, horse, just appear in front of me. That would be nice. As long as it's a range, continue, increase your distance. Oh man, this is gonna take forever. It's all I have to just kind of run back. At least it's realistic. Oh, there's my horse. Hey, buddy. Yeah. All right. All right. Stow the deer. Yo, the realism of this looks crazy. You know. Okay, boy. Let's go. All right. Meet up with Charles. We head back this way. Am I stuck on something? Yeah. Oh, no, we're good. You know, it's funny, a lot of games... I feel like a lot of games recently have had horses in them, like Assassin's Creed Odyssey and other stuff. Ready to head back when you are. Come on, then. Let's head back. You already know this game's gonna be, like, game changer down the road. Alright. Dropped off. Nice contribute to gang Arthur. supplies, okay. Should be enough meat here to keep us all fed for a few days. You found him. <laughs> I knew you'd be okay with that bow. It's easier when they ain't shooting back. <laughs> We've seen enough of that. Considering how things were looking a couple of days back, well, maybe our luck is finally on the turn. Seems to me we should be putting our effort into getting off this mountain now. Soon. People are still weak, and well, you've seen how snowed in those wagons are. They ain't going nowhere until we get some more thaw. Mm, you're probably right. And even if we do get off here, what then? We still have a big price on our heads. This is a big country. We'll find somewhere to lie low. Dutch and Jose will have a plan. I can't wait to explore you know, this, this game, Al like, Pearson's completely. had a bottle in his hand ever since we fled Blackwater. We give the camp cook five minutes to grab the essentials and go, and he doesn't even bring a crumb of food. Good that we caught more than one. We've only been up here a few days and have already picked up two more mouths to feed. One more. We ain't feeding Neil Driscoll a damn thing. Except maybe that can of salt and awful Pearson was kind enough to give us. The girl, she has a wild look in her eye. <sighs> of course. She lost her husband, her home, everything she had. So what do we do with her? Well, once we get out of here and we're back on our feet, we'll see. She might have family somewhere. Who knows? Maybe she'll deal with the O'Driscoll for us. <laughs> well, I know who my money's on in that fight. He's weak, but that makes him much more useful. Maybe we can get to them before they get to us. What is it with your Driscolls? You ain't dealt with them? I suppose. Hell, we ain't run into them much the last six months. I guess because they've been over this way. Nah, I've heard a lot of talk about them. Well, we've been scrapping over scores with them for years. Big game. Nasty sons of bitches. Their leader, Colm, and Dutch go way back. And not in a good way. A proper blood feud. So I heard. Watch out. Is that a bear? bear up ahead. Oh, man. Let's see if we can find another way around. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Arthur, you awake back there? Yeah, just thinking. We ain't ever talked that much, you and me. How long you been with us now? Five, six months? Something like that. But you didn't expect this. What? Any of this. 
Blackwater mess? Being up here? Ah. Sooner or later, a job's gonna go wrong. Nature of life. And I just thought you might have moved on by now. You want me to move on? No. No, not at all. I just... I know you could run it alone, no problem. Mm. I did that for a long time. I'm done with it. I was wondering if someone's gonna kill you in your sleep. I still wonder that most nights. <laughs> I reckon you're okay. This suits me. Sure, I could fall in with another gang, but Dutch... You know... Dutch is different. Oh, yes. Dutch is certainly different. He treats me fair. Most of you do. And for a fellow with a black father and an Indian mother, that ain't normally the case. Well, we need you now. More than ever. Good. And how long have you been with these boys? Why ain't you run off? Me? Uh, 20 years, something like that. Since I was a boy. 20 years? Yeah. He taught me to read. John, too. He taught me a few other things, him and Hosea. Huh. I'm sure. Dutch saved me. Saved most of us. That's why we need to stick by him through this. He always sees us right. It's cool just listening to the characters kind of go back and forth. I know they How's that talk a lot, so... He's alright. He'll do for now. I appreciate you letting me take Taima the other night. She's a strong one. It's been as hard on the horses as on the rest of us. I don't know what Dutch would do if something happened to the Count. Same with Bill and Brown Jack. He's a drunk, miserable bastard, but he loves that horse. Huh. I hope they all make it. I tried to ride the Count once. Fuck me faster than a bull. Won't take nobody but him. Pretty chill mission. Uh... Our mission, I can't speak. <laughs> Easy. I was a, that was a pretty uh, over here. chill time. I like it. Go hunting, Pops come back, and that's back, it. Boys. All right, move. Uh, come on, let's get these over to Pearson. Uh, thank you for showing me how to use the boat proper. I only showed you a little. There's a lifetime of practice to master. I need to take the bow off, because I need to get that rifle back on. It was so good. Just drop it down in here. What a surprise. Find a camp rat loitering around in the kitchen. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I feel like we haven't spoken for days. I do my utmost to avoid. Why, he loves me, really. It's his sad way of showing affection. No, it isn't. Now shoot, get lost. Uh, well, see you gents later. See, you got on just fine. Charles is a wonder. Have a drink, boys. You earned it. Jesus, what is that? Navy rum, sir. It's the only thing. The only thing. <laughs> Keeps you sane, it does. Yeah, oh. seems to have done a treat on you. You go rest that hand, Charles. I'm gonna be fine in a few days. You mind helping me with the skinning, Mr. Morgan? It's easier if we do it together. I'll get to skin you. <coughs> you always one with the jokes, aren't you? Come on. This really isn't a job for a man with a burnt hand. I'll see you both later. You skinned that one, did you? Dumped on the floor there. Oh, wow. Holy shit. I was gonna show all that. Not too bad, Mr. Morgan. Yeah. They always said you were a butcher. You know, you could trade these or sell these and Pretty much any town, if you're looking to make a legitimate bit of money, of course. Right now, I'm just looking to get off this mountain alive. Well, if you catch anything else, you bring it to me. Sure. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Heck, Arthur Morgan's first decent bit of hunting, after all these years. Yeah, well, we're on the run now. Everyone's got to do their bit to survive. Just make a good stew. Folk need it. It's been a tough few days.
All right, honestly contains old friends. Do you want to overwrite the? Oh yeah. A few days later. Let's get it, man. It's been a bad few weeks. But Dutch, being Dutch, he is busy making plans. And Dutch, being Dutch, those plans involve robbery and dreams. Well, I thought you was reading him his last rites. Now I see you're introducing him to your other passion. I'll mind you to show me some respect, Mr. Morgan. Mind away, Reverend. You're still here, then? I owe you. Yeah. And you'll pay me. But for the moment, just rest. Arthur! I think it's time for the train. You want me to come? Of course I do, but... Look at you. I was always ugly, Dutch. It's just a scratch. Don't lie still, son. Hello, Abigail. Dutch? Jackie. The boy wanted to see you, John. He's seen me now. Or what's left of me. What about you? Guess I was hoping to see a corpse. <laughs> Bide your time. You'll see plenty of them. You're a rotten man, John Marston. He is an idiot, Abigail. We all know it. Now, railway man. Bill! Now, you ride ahead and set the charge at the water tower just before the tunnel. Ain't a problem. Why are we doing this? Weather's breaking. We could leave. I, I thought we was lying low. Yeah, come on. What do you want from me, Hosea? I just don't want any more folks to die, Dutch. We're living, Hosea. We're living. Look at me. We're living. Even you. But we need money. Everything we have is in Blackwater. You fancy heading back there? No. Listen, Dutch, I ain't trying to undermine you. I just... I just want to stick to the plan, which was to lie low, then head back out west. Now, suddenly we're about to rob a train. What choice have we got? Leviticus Cornwall's no joke, Dutch. Well, who is Leviticus Cornwall? Yeah, he's a big railway magnate, sugar dealer, oil man. Well, how good for him. Sounds like he has more than enough to share. Dutch! Gentlemen, it is time to make something of ourselves. Get your horses ready. We have a train to rob! 